So when you're calculating a ballistic solution for long range shooting, it's important to understand the extent of your rifle's supersonic range. Okay, because once your bullet slows down uh, below supersonic and you get into transonic effects, there's a lot more considerations that come into play. Uh, the drag of the bullet becomes less certain. The stability of the bullet can uh, be challenged. And things like, you know, things related to long times of flight like Coriolis and spin drift come into play. So whenever you're shooting long range, you need to know where your bullet slows down to about 1,340 feet per second. Out to that range, predictions are pretty easy. Uh, things are well behaved. Um, and, but when you get past that, you have to know where that limit is because once you pass that limit, you have to know a lot more about the science of ballistics to account for all the effects that take place at transonic range. Uh, the purpose of this video is just to give you an awareness that that's something that you should look out for. If you really want to learn more about transonic effects, I recommend getting the Applied Ballistics books where these things are explained in layman's terms for long range shooters to be able to understand and apply to their shooting in the field.